Hello, this is Steve Powers. Um, welcome back to uh, my series on Blender's uh, v uh, Video Sequence Editor. This is part four, and I'm going to show you how to um, add an image, or in this case, a watermark. Um, the procedure um, or technique is the same for both. So in this case, um, where we left off in part three was we added a uh, text image, and then we uh, created a uh, fade out effect um, by animating the opacity. And we're going to do a similar technique here by um, adding a watermark. Um, in this case, it's going to be another image. And hey, guess what? It's going to be my logo. Or at least one that I've been playing with anyways. Um, and we want to make sure this goes from um, frame 1 to uh, 250. It doesn't really matter. We'll actually just put it at the first um, five fr uh, seconds and we'll fade out something like that um, and quite often when you're doing uh, uh, watermarks um, you have to think about um, what's the content of your video in this case it'd be blender and blender you can see has a whole lot of different um, uh, options that would be covered up uh, whether they are here uh, with a watermark so um, it would um, wouldn't be a good idea it would uh, probably irritate people it would irritate me so and I guess I'm a person. So let's do this. Um, again, we'll uh, look on channel 5. We can we can do it this way. We can drag and drop. Um, we're going to go for uh, 5 seconds. Uh, 5 times 25 is what? 2. Well, it's, I guess the whole uh, thing is only 250, right? So let's do this for, do it for 100 seconds. It doesn't really matter. This way, when it comes on, you can see uh, the logo, and then uh, the logo won't uh, be in the way. Um, and it can uh, fade out uh, shortly after the title. Um, or it can, yeah, it'll fade out shortly after the title. Now, you can see how this got squashed because it is not um, the same uh, size as um, uh, the uh, video itself. Okay, uh, first off, we're going to change this. We'll, we'll fix that in a second. We'll do the alpha over. And then we have to go down to, where is it? Uh, I haven't done it in a bit. So oh, image crop or offset. OK, we can do offset. I believe we'll fix it. Yeah. Do image offset. You can see how we fixed it. But what we're going to do is we're going to want to uh, put this someplace where it's um, not uh, crushing everything. I'm going to also change this to 75 so it's the same as uh, the title. Almost looks like it fades in and out at the same time. Go back to, um, say, around 50. Okay, so now we can see where that is. And. Um, See where that is, and now we want to offset it. Well, here we go. Let's see. Is this uh, X is to the right? Let's see, oops, want the whole thing there, and then I believe I need to drop it down here. By the way, um, I, if you have a scroll wheel, wheel, you can bring that up to see what you're actually looking at. You can also shrink this down a little bit if you want. Um, but you can see where that is, and you you can read it. It's 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 uh, legible, um, and uh, that's pretty much how you um, do it. You have to have the image offset, then you have to adjust it to where you want. And all I'm doing here, by the way, is um, I'm left clicking and I'm dragging one way or the other. Okay, Y going up and down, left going up and right. Um, very hard to figure that one out, isn't it? Okay. Um, and uh, pretty much it's, it's, it's as simple as that. So when you see it, you know, it's um, on there. And uh, it doesn't fade with the other one. So what we want to do is go back to 50, frame 50 that is. Okay, make sure I have uh, the logo selected. Um, and we're going to do the same thing we did before. The opacity set, uh, we wanted to be set at 100, or 1 rather, a full uh, opacity. And then when we get to seven, uh, frame 75, we want it to uh, be completely uh, gone. So I drop that and then hit the key keyframe. 
and you can see how both the the title and the logo act like they're on the same uh, scene or on the same uh, frame but they're not a part of the same uh, image and um, there you go uh, down and dirty but that's how you can uh, add an image uh, even if it's the a different size as the parameters of your video and um, you uh, can uh, adjust uh, just hit the image offset and um, uh, position the way you like okay so uh, hopefully this uh, has helped now these uh, last two uh, videos uh, parts have uh, been rather quick because it really is just an addition of the last so until next time uh, thanks again for viewing and uh, I will see you then